Act 16 includes a series of usability and system improvements. One of those is that we can now reschedule activities en masse. So let's say, for example, I've performed a lookup or, or a, a view in the task list of activities scheduled for Alison Mikola within the current month. Let's say Alison's gone off sick or she, she's away on leave. So I want to pick up all these activities en masse and reschedule them for another date. And I can now do that by highlighting them and selecting uh, from the right click menu, reschedule activities. And I can just pick a different date. So uh, let's say I want to schedule them all for the 1st of October. It will apply that date, that target due date of the 1st of October to all those activities now. So you can see they've disappeared from the view because they're now not scheduled for the current month. Uh, if I go to next month, of course, I'll, I'll see them drop back in again. Uh, one thing to bear in mind here is that when you're rescheduling for a particular date, it will always set the time to timeless. So even if there was a specific time scheduled for that activity before, that will not be preserved. They're just set to timeless. A popular new feature is the ability to set up email alerts based upon at scheduled events. It's always been possible in premium versions and more recently in professional versions of Acts as well to set up an Act Scheduler to perform automatic database maintenance and backups, which is really useful. But for a number of reasons, the backups or scheduled maintenance activities could fail and you wouldn't know anything about it until you came to want to restore from a backup only to find that one hadn't been created because a password had been changed or a path was now invalid or what have you. The email alerts monitor those events that you configure and send you an email to let you know whether it's been successful or whether it's failed. So it's a pretty straightforward thing to do. First of all, under other tasks in the schedule, we set up email alerts. This requires you to use uh, an SMTP sending server. So if you don't have these credentials, you'll need to speak to your uh, systems administrator to get some mailbox settings. So I'm just using a, a standard SMTP mail server. You just put in the mail server name and port, determine whether or not it requires authentication or SSL. And then when you've put the credentials in there, you can enter an email address in this field here, test email address, and click on test connection. It'll send an email to that address and you'll be able to verify that the email system is working correctly. You'll see that test email in your inbox. So once you've done that, you can proceed to configure scheduled events. So if I click on create a task, I want to set up a uh, database backup event. So I'll choose the database, put in the administrator's username and password, if there is one, and select the event type. In this case, I'm going to use database backup. And I just want to create a database backup on a five day rolling cycle each weekday at um, 8.30 in the evening. And then when I click next, having set the schedule, this is where I enable the email notifications just by ticking this checkbox and putting in here the email address of the person who should receive those notifications. It might, of course, be different people receiving emails for different notifications. Again, I can send a test email here just to verify everything is working, but that's all I need to do. So the result then of a subsequent successful backup would be a simple email in my inbox just telling me that the demonstration database in my case here has been successfully backed up. Still on the subject of um, administrative capability within ACT and just putting more power in the hands of system administrators, uh, it's now possible to make changes to the structure of the database and the screen layouts through the web interface. More and more people, of course, are using the web interface to enable uh, users to access their corporate data wherever and whenever on any platform or any device. So the whole web interface, the whole cloud-based essence of ACT now is becoming more and more important. Um, the strengthening of administrative capabilities just means that uh, we can be a much more dynamic in responding to the needs of a, of a business. So rather than having to make a remote desktop connection to a server, you can just log on to a browser and make customization changes to the database here. Uh, uh, of course, now, uh, in terms of browsers, we're not limited to merely Internet Explorer. Both Firefox and Google Chrome are supported. Uh, here's an example of a demo database logged on through Google Chrome. 
And you can see that under the Tools menu now, we've got Define Fields and Design Layouts, both available to an administrator within the browser. Now, this is fairly rich functionality, not quite as comprehensive as it would be in a local install. So, for example, we, we don't have the facility to manage um, drop-down lists and such like through this interface. But it is possible to change the characteristics of fields and create new fields, just as you would do if you were logged on to a local database selecting the type uh, you can use drop down lists that are already pre-constructed within the system uh, and of course all the regular controls are available to you as well so having created the field the other thing of course that you'd need to do is to determine whereabouts that field would appear in the layout and that's possible through the browser as well just by selecting tools and design layout and as per the local install as well, we see a view of the layout in an editable format. And the process is just the same as it would be uh, if I was doing it locally. So I click on field, drag a box. I'm presented with a list of new fields that have been created within the system. So choose the field, click add, and uh, there we go. Now I don't have all the format controls that you would have in the local version. So, um, there are some functions that still uh, you need the local install for. I do suspect that this will be improved and elaborated with future patch releases as well. But I think it's the beginnings of, of really great control for administrators in a very simple way from any device without having to have Act installed on a local PC or without having to connect through to a, uh, a remote server. So I'm just going to save the change close the editor and of course you can see my test field is available in the system. Finally I want to mention the enhancement to universal search. Now, This was uh, an addition a couple of versions ago within ACT which allowed you to perform a deep search using any word or phrase within the system which was quite exciting apart from it was limited in terms of what you could do with the resulting information. So I've typed in a search phrase of wood and the, the power of this is the ability to search within any entity, contacts, groups, companies, opportunities, etc. But also through all the sub-entities, activities, notes, histories, also including searching the text within attachments, which is fantastic. I could also limit it by the date that those entities or records were changed. But having got a resulting list of uh, uh, contacts or companies or histories including the search phrase I can't really do anything with them in previous versions of Act. I could click to go in to look at the data or go through to the record but I can't do anything analytical with it, that information so in version 16 we've now got a create lookup function similar to that which was included in the previous keyword search tool whereby I can create a lookup of either contacts or companies to which these results refer so if I click on contacts, I then get a contact list of the 12 people that all those examples of the phrase that I put in as a search term uh, are contained within. And of course, within the lookup view, I can go on then to group the more schedule activities on mass or email or document communications with them. So it's just another usability feature that I think puts more power into the hands of those that are vested with systems administration functions, reporting functions and, and data management. So these are some of the new usability improvements in Act version 16.